Welcome to H1C Sim Insight with myself, Giles Coughlin, Chief Currency Analyst. Now, the market move for the session ahead is as follows. The latest FOMC minutes were perceived to be dovish in an initial market reaction. There was certainly nothing for short-term bulls in terms of tapering timing clues. However, the broad picture does remain the case that the Fed is positioning for sooner policy normalization as the economic recovery in the US has been generally faster than expected. So financials can gain from increasing interest rates. So Goldman Sachs's impressive seasonals are worth checking out. Between July the 9th and July the 29th, Kellogg's, I mean Goldman Sachs rather, has gained in value a total of 12 times over the last 14 years. Uh, the largest fall was here in 2007 with a 12.34% loss and the biggest gain was in 2009 with an 11.33% profit. The average return has been a fairly impressive 3.80% return given how short the time period is. Now, key trade risk, if there was a sharp sell-off in US stocks, this could initially spill over into Goldman's share price on any deeper risk-off moves.